To make sure your repair job is completed correctly and lasts for years, follow these directions closely. The repair kit includes all of the materials and accessories for low pressure injection and repair of approximately 8 linear feet of cracks. Two jars of crack seal and port adhesive, one jar part A and one part B. Two wooden sticks, 12 surface ports and caps, two cartridges of injection polyurethane resin, two mixing nozzles for use with injection resin, one injection hose assembly with shutoff valve, two pair of rubber gloves, one plastic trowel, one wire brush, one drop cloth, and complete instructions and material safety data sheets. This repair kit works on both textured poured walls and non-textured poured walls. The tools required to do the job are a standard caulking gun, a paper plate or scrap cardboard for mixing surface seal and port adhesive, a clean used plastic squeeze bottle filled with one to two cups of water. Place drop cloth on the floor in front of work area. Clean the surface surrounding the crack using the wire brush. Remove loose or flanking concrete, efflorescence, paint or coatings to approximately 1 to 2 inches on either side of the crack. The surface must be dry for proper installation of injection ports and surface seal. For best results, if the surface is wet, wait a few days until dry, or if necessary, use a hot air gun, hair dryer, or oil-free compressed air to dry the wall. Ports are placed apart the thickness of the concrete wall, usually about 8 inches, and centered over the crack. Place the first port starting at point closest to the floor for vertical cracks. If the crack is horizontal, start at the lowest end of the crack. Mark the port locations on the wall as shown. Tip. Put on both pairs of rubber gloves, one over the other. If the outer gloves become unusable, simply peel off that glove and you have a clean, fresh glove ready to go. Prepare crack seal and port adhesive using separate wooden sticks to remove equal amounts of part A and part B, about one-third of each jar. Sticks should not be shared between containers to prevent the remaining material from hardening. Place equal amounts of adhesive on a scrap piece of cardboard and mix with the trowel. Repeat this step each time you run out of mixed adhesive. Remove the cap from the surface port, then apply a small amount of mixed adhesive to the bottom of the port base as seen here. Place the first port starting at the bottom of the crack and repeat every 8 inches until the entire crack is ported. Note, do not allow epoxy to block the bottom of the port opening or the crack under it. The next step is to work the mixed surface seal epoxy paste along the entire length of the crack using the plastic trowel. If the crack goes to the top of the wall, you will need to apply a layer of sealer above the soil grade on the outside of the foundation as shown here. The recommended epoxy application is 1 8 inch thick and 2 inches wide. Make sure to apply sufficient amount of extra epoxy around the base of the ports. Do not work the epoxy into the crack, just paste over the surface. Expect to use 16 ounces, the total amount provided for an 8 foot crack. Let the surface seal and port adhesive cure before beginning injection, about 2 to 4 hours, or until fingernail hard. We do not recommend to wait overnight. The procedure for injection is as follows. Number one, flush the crack with one to two cups of water poured into the top port using plastic squeeze bottle or by filling the hose assembly several times. 
Water should come out of every port below the top port, indicating that the crack is contiguous and that ports are not blocked by epoxy. Number two, load the injection resin cartridge into your caulking gun. Remove the plastic nut and then twist and pull to remove the plastic seal. Place the mixing nozzle over the end of the cartridge, attaching it with a plastic nut. Attach the wide end of the flexible hose assembly over the mixer tip and push in firmly. Attach the small end of the hose assembly into the lowest port by pressing firmly into place. Begin injecting slowly with low pressure, allowing the resin time to flow into and fill all small fissures until the resin begins to flow from the port above it. Use the white plastic pinch valve on the hose assembly to turn off resin flow and remove the hose. Plug the first port with the cap provided and move up to the next port. Repeat this procedure until the entire crack has been injected with resin. Note. The secret to effective crack injection is patient, low-pressure introduction of the resin. Small or hairline cracks will require three to four minutes at each port for proper filling to take place. Also, you may have what's called blowouts, shown here. These are small leaks that may appear if one, the surface seal has not set up completely, or two, there are small pinholes in the surface seal application. This will not affect a successful outcome but should be minimized by careful application of the sealer. The resin expands into a foam that will set up and is easily removed with a putty knife. The ports can be removed by striking with a hammer after foaming is complete in about three or four hours. The surface seal epoxy is paintable or may be removed with a scraper as seen here. Place all disposable items on the drop cloth, which is a garbage bag, and dispose of properly. Your repair is now complete and you may finish the wall as desired.